Hi, I'm Matt from edgecraft.org, and I do the Minecraft stuff. And uh, I wanted to make a good computer for a Minecraft server. I've been running a server so far off of an old laptop, and that's, well, it's starting to poop out on me. So I thought I'd put together a, a good, solid desktop build that I can keep. Now, because this is a server, it doesn't, I don't need to do really good graphics or anything like that. Um, and... I also don't need a monitor to go along with it because as long as I have it plugged into the internet, I can access the computer. I mean, I'm probably going to temporarily plug one of my normal monitors into it to install an operating system, but uh, but for the most part, it's going to live underneath my staircase and uh, connect to the internet for me, and I'm going to control it from my laptop or my desktop that I actually game on. So I got my parts, I got my case. Inside this bag is the motherboard. And that's where everything on the computer is connected. I already had the RAM hooked up. That's what that is. I got my processor, hard drive, and I think I'm ready to go. So this is what the case looks like on the inside. I took the paneling off. This actually came with the motherboard. So I've already done some work in here. Um, I, one thing I forgot to mention is about a power supply. Um, we have some fans that came with the case. I should also add that I'm wearing a little static guard thing. Um, this creates a place for any current I've charged up in my body uh, to not short out my motherboard when I'm handling it. So now I can touch my motherboard and be pretty sure I'm not going to short it out. I've shorted out a motherboard before and it made me feel stupid, and I don't want to do that again. So, this is my motherboard, and as I already said, I already installed the RAM. So when you're doing a custom build of the computer, you have to make sure everything works together. Probably putting the computer together is actually pretty simple. Everything looks like it fits or it's labeled on the motherboard, but you have to make sure you're using the right type of thing. So this motherboard uses a certain type of RAM. So when I bought RAM, I had to make sure that it was that proper type. Um, but what I, people mess up a lot is the pin set on their microprocessor. I bought one that specifically goes with this. It's an AMD, where is it? AMD Athlon uh, multi-core. And it, this has um, the pin set that makes it, that works. So let's see if it fits. Okay, it's on. Okay, next up, you gotta get the uh, heat sink in. You see those metal line things? Those absorb the heat from the processor and the fan helps keep it cool. Um, processors tend to be different, but usually there's a snappy piece that snaps into holes in the motherboard. And then you end up with this cord that attaches to where your fan gets powered from the motherboard. I guess screws. I have a bunch of different types, but they gave me little extra peg things. So what I can do is test and see which screw goes into the peg thing, and I think we have a winner. All right. All right, so I got those little things in there. Booyah. All right, I got it in there. It's all connected, and now it's starting to look like a computer. You can see the back where you normally plug things in. Um, so yeah, this looks like the normal back of a computer. Now I just have to get this thing in. See, last time I... Messed with this, I cut myself. Ow. No blood, okay, good. Okay, the paneling is in. Okay, that's good. And my motherboard's still in one piece, so that's good. I, uh, yeah, that's the scary part. So now we're going to start hooking stuff up. You're going to have this little speaker. It's a beeper for your BIOS system. And that goes over here where it says speaker. And you're going to try to get that on. Beep! And next up, we're going to plug in these little dude hickeys that, um, so this is all the stuff that you see on the front panel. What's that? Oh, that's a reflect. That's a pretty sweet reflection. All right. And so those go over here. And you got to look really carefully. You got to have good eyesight. So if you see at the bottom, you see some writing. It's really tiny. Um, and it goes with each pin. So what you do is you find the writing on this and you match it to the writing on the motherboard. 
Right, now you have this audio thing which deals with the audio jacks and whatnot on the front of the computer that you then plug into that port, the AAFP, see it's down there, AAFP on your motherboard. So to have it holding it right, yes I am. Here we go. Okay. Alright, so this is the USB thing for those guys. And if you see down here you have space for a USB. My, um, oh, there we go. So since I only have one, I'm only going to plug one in. And it goes in here. Your SATA drive also needs power. So in addition to plugging the drive into the motherboard right here, going into here, you also need to have this cable. Looks like this and it comes from your power supply okay it looks like I've got everything plugged in so now it's time to restore the paneling make this look like a real real boy make this computer into a real boy and uh, then we'll install an operating system okay to get your operating system uh, I'm gonna be kind of honest with you I don't want to pay hundred ten dollars for a copy of Windows 10 so I'm gonna go to www.ubuntu.com slash downloads and I'm going to download a free operating system that uh, is a Linux distribution um, Linux is kind of a scary word for some people but Ubuntu is a distribution of it that's actually pretty easy to use and so I'm gonna go to Ubuntu and I'm gonna download that um, Ubuntu.com slash downloads, you get Ubuntu desktop and that's what you're going to need for your new server computer. Then you're going to go to this weird URL Rufus website. It's uh, rufus.akeo.ie and you're going to download this program called Rufus that lets you make a flash drive, one of those little thumb drive things you get. You're going to be able to put Linux on one of those little thumb drives. I rec recommend minimum a uh, a two gigabyte thumb drive. Uh, mine's huge. Mine's like sixteen. Uh, but you're gonna download it, and then you're gonna you're gonna download this program, and then you're gonna run it. So running the program, we're gonna have to get our image, which is what I downloaded from Ubuntu's website. And you're gonna have to have your uh, USB device plugged in, at least a few gigabytes large. And then you just hit the uh, hit the start button, and it'll flash it onto the boot drive, and you'll be able to install Linux onto the computer. All right, fixed a problem with my hard drive. And now I am installing. Yeah, yeah, do it. So I have this lonely little keyboard. No mouse, no monitor or anything, just sitting underneath my staircase. Oh, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna mess with it and manage my server? No keyboard or anything attached to my computer. And so, uh, no monitor. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this really cool Linux system called SSH. So if I look down, I have this little script, and that script's something I've set up so that I can use what's called SSH to log into the computer I have plugged into the network under the stairs. I just gotta run it. And Linux dot slash local. And if I just type that, I don't have to type out the whole thing. All right, now I have to type in my password. Ha, you can't see it. And oh, and now I'm in on my computer. Um, I am going to see, I use a thing called TeamUps to help me manage my sessions, and I already have a uh, session of TeamUps going. TeamUps, um, attach, oops, T, and I'm going to type the session name, which I believe is zero, and here we go, I'm in. So there's my server, Matt's 1.10 server, it's just, I started playing with my friends on 1.10, I don't feel like updating it, it's fine. Normally I run the server in, um, what's it called, survival mode, but every now and then when I want to do some stuff I'll switch to creative mode, especially since my friend accidentally burned our house down. Yeah, oh, that's cool. All right, so that was uh, me making the new computer to run my web server off of. I uh, hope you found it entertaining. The video is about 10 minutes long and it took me 10 minutes to make it. Just kidding, you can probably tell I got a haircut and changed clothes and so it at least took a few days. Uh, got my Minecraft uh, or my Minecon shirt on from attending Minecon in 2016. It was a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, hope this entertained you. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you around. Bye.